Hi friends, I am Sihanu Jaloda. Welcome to the MCQs from the Board of Studies portal of the Institute. These questions are designed to give you the first hand knowledge of how the examination questions of ICAI will be looking like. One request to all those students who have just cleared the CA inter. Try to clear your self-paced papers at the earliest. Don't wait for anything to be happening. Okay, try to do these two papers first. So therefore, two papers are gone for the next two years. Okay, so that is one thing. Please note. Second, in case you'll require any help or information, then our telegram ID is at the rate AJ next. You all can write to us there and we'll be happy to respond to any queries that you might be having. The link to the complete course of SCPM is there in the description below once you click on that link you enroll lectures automatically start in our lectures we have covered every bit of the module that is there everything that is there in the module is all covered up okay now we'll start away with today's chapter it is chapter number one introduction to scm and we are doing this question for today jim jam power limited is working on the projects of designing low cost lithium ion batteries for electric vehicle as a vendor for manufacturing and delivery for such batteries to the largest e-vehicle producer of the country. It is something like, like you know, Jim Jam is something like, say, the Excite batteries, which supplies lithium-ion batteries to, say, a company like Tata Motors. Okay, you can try to have both these things in mind in case you're looking. It has been decided that critical success factors uh, shall be used to strategically manage the project and the cost thereof. When assessing the use of critical success factors, which one of the following would demonstrate that they are being used correctly? Okay, so this question is all about critical success factor. Before I will show you all the options, okay, one thing you should be knowing what do you mean by critical success factor? Critical success factors are your goals that you have to achieve in order to get success. These are critical to your success. Every company has various types of critical success factors. Example, a company like say, uh, a company that is supplying say lithium ion batteries has to be ensuring that their batteries last for a long time on a single charge. That could be one of the critical success factors because else a company is buying it, might not be buying it. Okay. It could be that defectives are less. Okay, all these are objectives. All these things will help you to achieve your ultimate aim. That is the mission or the vision of the entire company. Okay, critical success factors are like, you know, short term goals or could be long term goals also. To give you a small example, suppose you are studying for CA final, you clear also, and then you start to be thinking, yeah, after studying for four years, no, I think my health has gone for a toss. I need to become thin. Okay, so therefore, your critical success factor is becoming thin. You think that a person who is physically very fit, okay, ultimately will be doing far better in career. So therefore, your goal is to become thin now. That is your critical success factor. How do you measure your goals are being achieved or not? You can try to measure so many things. You can try to be measuring in this case, say the number of calories that you do. Uh, you intake number of calories that you burn. It could be number of steps. It could be your weight. Okay, all these are going to be called as KPI, key performance indicator. They help you to find out are you achieving your CSF or not. Okay, with this, uh, I give you the four options. So therefore, they are asking you that uh, when assessing the critical success factor, which one of the following would demonstrate that they are used correctly? Okay, so the four options over here are. Critical success factors remain fixed throughout the project. To be very honest, this answer I'm directly saying no. Your CSF change because businesses change. Okay, so therefore, if suppose you will have more amount of competition, then your critical success factor might change. If new competitors will come, they will bring in better batteries. Your CSF might again change. Okay, so this cannot be true. Six. Critical success factors are used as a measure if the project is either leading or lagging in performance. See, whether your project is doing good or bad, that's a different story. But you should always have critical success factors. Okay, you should always have your goals here. It is irrespective of the fact like, you know, that uh, in this case, you are doing good or you are doing bad. Every company should have its objectives in place. Third, 
Critical success factors are derived from key performance indicators to measure if the project is achieving strategic goals. Absolutely reverse or whatever it should be. Critical success factors are not derived from KPIs. KPIs are derived from the CSF. First thing that we always try to be thinking, I want to become thin. And then I want to be thinking, how do I measure I'm becoming thin or not? So KPIs are derived from CSF, not vice versa. Okay, further. Fourth over here. Critical success factors are directly aligned to both organization and project objectives. I guess out of the four, this makes maximum sense to me. See, ultimately your aim is that I want to be achieving the mission or the vision of the entire company. Okay, CSF help you to be doing that and they have to be aligned to it means ultimately if you achieve all the critical success factors, then you should be able to achieve the mission of the company also. That's very obvious, right? Okay, so therefore you should try to be doing that. So out of the four, I guess the last one should be the correct one. Okay, IC has given few things which I'm reading. Essentially, CSF are elements of an organization that are vital to its success. Critical success factors should be developed to link and align strategic goals of the company. They are used to determine how a project, business unit, department or a function can reach its specific goals and facilitate forward progress towards with organization strategy goals. Students are advised to take a note that KPIs are derived from the CSA and not vice versa, of course. Okay. So answer should be fourth over here. That should be the correct answer. Yeah, that's the correct one. I joined AJ directly in uh, CA final. Uh, it was uh, because of Alan sir. And, uh, you know, it was a great journey. Seriously, like I started up quite early. Started with Alan sir. Maza I was like it was effortless thank you so much Anand sir thank you and uh, it's been a great journey this is all done for today's video. Just a reminder that in case you wish to be watching all our MCQ videos from the module, this is a QR code for the playlist on the YouTube. Okay, I'll see you all in the next lecture. Take care. Bye.